Now we've had some hits and a lot of misses when it comes to the draft, but who was the last greatest draft pick for the Washington Commanders or Washington Redskins for that, uh, for that matter? We're going to talk about that in this episode. And welcome back to another episode here on the Washington Football Maniacs podcast. I'm your host, Greg Sykes, and this channel, of course, is dedicated to the Washington Commanders news and commentary. So if you're down with that, please make sure that you have subscribed. And also, when you do, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any other video releases. Hey, if you want to really support this channel, you can do so by becoming a channel member. That's right, become a fellow maniac today. You'll be you'll be in line for some perks and and all that sort of mess and also as well if you want to save some money some some money what in the world is wrong with me if you want to save some money money moolah, uh, on your wireless bill please go and visit our partners here at mint mobile have you ever thought to yourself why in the f is my wireless cell phone bill so Hi, what are you paying all of that money for? Well, at Mint Mobile, you can get all of those features for a fraction of the cost. They are built on the nation's largest 5G network, and they keep their costs low because they directly sell to you. Switching to Mint Mobile is so easy. It took me less than 15 minutes using Mint Mobile's eSIMS card. And if you don't have an eSIMS card with your cell phone, just get in touch with Mint Mobile and they'll send you a SIMS card through the mail absolutely free. Big Wireless wants you to think that they are the only game in town, but let's send them packing. Switch to Mint Mobile today. Go to our link down at the bottom in the description. Try mintmobile.com slash maniacs to get started today and get this special offer for new customers get any plan on mint mobile for 15 dollars a month that's right 15 dollars a month for any plan on mint mobile but you gotta act now now let's get back into the podcast 15 dollars a month for unlimited data um, and this is for the first three months for new customers I don't know how much longer that this special is going to last, so you need to check it out. Go in the description below in this video to take part and to take, just take advantage. So folks, we've had a lot of interesting uh, draft picks over the years, especially in the last 19, 20 years. And I can't really think of anybody else who stands out as being probably what I consider the greatest draft pick that this Washington franchise has had. And I think you've got to go back honestly to 2005, Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor to me, he was just one of those guys that was a generational player. And unfortunately his life, his career was cut short. And who knows, who knows what would have happened if we would have had Sean Taylor for the long haul right he was an unbelievable safety and i'm telling you for those of us who had the opportunity to be able to watch him play he was like no other safety as a matter of fact ever since then all the other safeties that come out of college uh, talk about sean taylor being their idol because they want to you know pattern their play after sean taylor but sean taylor just he had unbelievable skills. It wasn't just being able to hit hard, and he did that. Um, a lot of times he did wind up drawing some you know, personal foul calls with his hits, but he, he was great in coverage as well. Um, he could intercept the football. Um, he could run it back. Um, certainly he could, he could jar loose footballs that looked like they were going to be an easy catch for wide receivers. I mean, he was unbelievable. And trust me, I, I have been watching football for over 40 years. And so I've been able to see some fantastic safeties in my time. And by far, I think that Sean Taylor was the greatest safety ever to play the game, honestly. And even though that, like I said, his, his 
his life, his career was cut short. Um, just the few years that he played, he would have been the greatest. He would have been a, a shoe win for a Hall of Fame. And he was. He, his, his level of play was unlike anything I've ever seen in my life. And so, you know, the, the commanders and Redskins football team, I have to go by all those names because it wasn't the commanders back then. You know, it's only been the commanders for the last couple of years. And so going back to this Washington franchise and all of the drafts they've had since then, it just really pales in comparison. We've had some good players to come out of um, the, the NFL draft, but none other than I think has come close to being on that level of play for their position like Sean Taylor. Um, he, he's like nobody else. And honestly, I'm not sure if we will ever actually see another player like Sean Taylor, and maybe not in my lifetime. I don't know. Um, honestly, again, it, it is so um, so frustrating that um, this franchise, you know, the last 20 years plus, this franchise has, you know, won at the table scraps. They felt like that's all they could get. And then you are able to land somebody like Taylor, and then he's taken away from you so soon. I mean, it's 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 so unfair. But um, you know, as as we draft players this year, and of course, it's going to be a while to to really see how these players pan out. But I am just hoping. I would love, uh, whether if it's the quarterback position, whether if we wind up, you know, drafting left tackle or you know safety or or wide receiver i hope that we wound up or we wind up hitting on a generational talent somewhere wherever that that guy is drafted and that that generational talent is somebody who you know is going to be a future hall of famer even after just uh you know a handful of years playing i would love to see that again um Certainly all of us would love to see that at the quarterback position because we assume that if you have that, your your likelihood of making the Super Bowl and winning it greatly goes up. So here's to hoping that um, that generational talent is at the quarterback position. But if not, we want to see it somewhere because it doesn't matter where that guy plays. He is going to be a game changer. Sean Taylor was a, a game changer. He really was. Um, I mean, you think back at that Dallas game where Dallas, um, they were going to go with the, the kick at the end of the game. The kick got blocked. Sean Taylor picks it up, runs back. You know, someone grabs his face mask, and he, he runs it back to like, um, I think it was um, close to the 50-yard line. The um, I, I don't know if they ran into Dallas territory or not, but I think it was close. And then, of course, the penalty tacked on 15 more yards, and the Redskins wound up getting an untimed um, kick at the end to win it. And so that was Sean Taylor being a game changer. So um, – I want to see another game changer. I want to see a team full of game changers. And I think that with this front office, we're going to be able to get that. Um, but I'm telling you, just looking back on the last time that we got somebody like that, that guy was Sean Taylor. He was awesome. Um, I proudly wear his jersey every now and then. Um, I just love the guy. I hate it of what happened to him. But um, God rest your soul, Sean. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, give it a share. Um, leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know, do you think Sean Taylor was the greatest safety ever to play in that position? Folks, I'll see you in the next one.